I've gotten this one started, I've peeled the label off, and then in order to get the E6000 glue to bond the best without these glass rocks slipping all over the place, is to apply it both to the bottle. You can see I've smeared some on here. I'll put a little bit more on so you open the lid. And you rub it. Kind of get a really thin coat going on the bottle. And then you also apply some to the back of the rocks. So you put it on the rock and then you let it sit. And you're supposed to let it sit for about two minutes before you put the two surfaces together. So I usually smear it on the bottle, check what time it is, and then start putting it on the back of the glass rocks. And then put them, you know, obviously glue side up so they can sit. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. And now, where I've put the glue, I'm just gonna start pushing the glass rocks where I want them. I like to try and stick them kind of between like the little gaps that the other ones made. Okay, so you've got that there. Now, they are a little bit slippy. Not as much as they would be if you just stuck the glue on there and threw them on the bottom. So kind of push them back to where they need to be. And then I use this masking tape to kind of hold it in place. So get it started, peel off a good long strip, and then I put it kind of across, you know, multiple glass gems, just over the top, securing the ends outside of the glue zone. This one's kind of, kind of close. All right, and this is kind of back to where I started. So I'm going to clear, pull up the tape a little bit from this area where I started. I'm going to tape down the gems I just glued on, and then I'm going to go back and finish this to fit in this area in here um, now that I've worked my way back around the bottle. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'll put the glue on the bottle, put glue on the back of the rocks, let it sit for two minutes, and then go ahead and press them on. I'll be back in just a minute. So now I've gone all the way around the bottle and I've got masking tape holding this all together. But there's this part right here where the bottle starts to curve that didn't have any marbles on it yet. So I peeled back where some of the masking tape was, repeated my step, put glue on the bottle, put glue on some marbles. Now I'm gonna go back in and fill in these spots where it curves. And as I get to these areas that have the masking tape, I'm gonna peel it back a little bit just to make sure that I can get the, the marbles in there. Sure that one. Um, the marbles in there and make contact. And then as I cover the bottle back up with more marbles, I'm just gonna put the masking tape back where it was to help hold these ones in place too. Right, so I finally finished my bottle and I wanted to come outside and show you guys what I'm gonna do with it now. Um, so I've got this here, it's covered in the marbles, it goes part way up the stem, not all the way up because I need part of it to sit inside the plant nanny. Um, but I didn't put it on the bottom, see, because I wanna be able to check and see what my water level looks like. So didn't put it all the way around, but just on the sides, I think it looks really pretty. And then you'll go ahead and fill it with water, um, a little bit of my, water came out because I used it to water my plants but fill it with water fill it all the way to the top and then what you do is you insert this item this is called the plant nanny and this is what lets you turn the bottle into a waterer in a way that's going to trickle out of your plants so you first start with watered soil so your soil's already damp and then you get the plant nanny so it's like papered like so and then you just stick it into your damp soil and then you cover your bottle with your thumb and flip it over and then stick it in there really fast. Ah, ah, sorry, I had to use my hand to stick it in there. Anyway, stick it in really fast 
and um, there you go and then it'll water your plants for you um, while you're on vacation or all the time honestly I leave mine in here all the time because I am a lazy gardener <laughs> I don't like to water my plants so all I have to do now is once every two or three days I come out here and I refill my bottles and they water the plants especially in these container gardens where um, you know it's really shallow they don't have a lot of a uh, soil system to hold the water in but I think it's really pretty I like how it turned out um, you can also do this I mean obviously these plant nannies work with plain um, soda bottles recycled kombucha bottles recycled wine bottles but I like how it looks with the gems on it I think it's a little bit prettier um, and it's more of a garden art kind of a look thanks for joining me be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and check me out at creativegreenliving.com